Hey guys, I'm very excited today. So this video is very much off the cuff. It's new kit day, so this is kind of a, an unboxing day for this shiny new piece of kit. I'm a bit of a watch freak, but I've not been happy with my watches ever since in my late 30s, I became very painfully separated from the Rolex Submariner that I worked hard, saved up and bought in my late teens. When I say I've never been happy, there is one exception, and that's this. This beautiful piece was gifted to me by a watchmaker friend. He only ever made 100 hand-built pieces under his own brand before he very sadly died, and this one is mine. It's number 16 of 100. It was altered very slightly to fit my specifications, and is very precious to me. The Rolex Submariner is, or at least should be, a true action watch. It's not built to be kept in a safe and pulled out for YouTube videos and photographs, and it's not built only to be worn in an office with a suit. And I really did wear mine for absolutely everything. I went swimming in it, snorkeling in it, diving in it, mountaineering in it, I wore it into the Arctic, uh, I drove fast cars in it, I wore it to work, I got married wearing the watch. Everything I did, everywhere I went, I was wearing the Rolex. And as you can imagine, because I wore it everywhere for everything, it became like an anchor to so many wonderful memories. So in my life, AR, after Rolex, I never really settled with another watch. And I think that's because I never found a watch that I was comfortable to do everything in and wear everywhere. To most people, this could sound very odd, but if you're into your watches like me, you'll know exactly what I mean. I do wear this one when I want a nice timepiece on my wrist. So if I'm going out for dinner, going to a function, going to a meeting, for example. But it's far too precious to me to use for my kind of everyday active lifestyle. Time is very important to me. In fact, at some points in my life, my life has literally depended on it. A couple of years ago, I was looking for an accurate and robust timepiece for an expedition, and a friend introduced me to the brand Tracer. This is the Tracer I bought, and I really can't knock it for performance. I've worn it uh, every day for everything. I've worn it on expeditions and adventures, and I can't knock it. It's in great condition despite being heavily used, and its timekeeping is superb. But it still isn't me. It's plastic, it's battery operated, it's robust. It does a brilliant job of telling the time perfectly well, but it's still not me. It left me still wanting, and I was wanting that strange, odd, inexplicable connection that many of us get with our watches. I wanted a watch with a tough steel face. It had to be automatic and the movement had to be solid, dependable, serviceable and proven. I like a clean, clear and easy to read face and great luminosity for low light or no light situations. A good bezel, because I use the bezel on my watches a lot. It had to be, like all of my kit, rugged, robust and reliable. So I started doing some research, some thinking, some talking to friends and then I remembered a brand that I first came across about a decade ago, a British brand called Elliott Brown. And the model that I chose was the Holton Automatic. The watch comes in this brilliant zip box which is foam lined and has a mesh pocket for storing additional items like maybe a spare strap or a bracelet and even comes complete with the tool for removing the bars to change the strap or bracelet. And I probably will. I bought mine with the very good rubber bracelet. You can buy it with the awesome looking sandblasted steel bracelet to match the case. But I'm probably going to switch mine out for either a NATO or a webbing strap most of the time. Now, as you may have gathered from my lack of watch knowledge and terminology, this is not going to be an in-depth technical review. If you want that, there are loads of videos all over YouTube from actual watch experts that will measure the watch using calipers, they'll weigh it, they'll tell you all about the movements and what it does. But that's not my bag. I'm interested in what this watch is going to, to give me what I can do with the watch. So here are a few tech specs read from the Elliott Brown website. Let's take the protective cover off first. Woohoo, new watch cover. That's cool. This watch has got a tough 43 millimeter stainless case, a ultra high grip unidirectional bezel with a case hardened insert, scratch resistant two millimeter sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating, 
an ultra bright super luminova dial and bezel a seiko nh35 automatic movement housed in an elliott brown unique anti-shock suspension system a 40 hour power reserve solid easy chain strap bars durable soft rubber strap a super compressor bolted case back and triple sealed high grip screw down crown which is recessed here at four o'clock the halton automatic is based on the same design as the quartz or battery powered halton professional a watch that was designed and developed in direct response to a request from a specialist unit within the british military they demanded a fit for purpose professional watch that was more than capable of withstanding harsh use in the field so the halton range has been tried and tested and proven being totally honest i'm not too bothered about the tech spec but i am bothered about what this watch can do it's capable of prolonged exposure to both water and dust and that's important to me it's rugged robust and reliable the face is clean and clear and gives that kind of at a glance readability that i want and the super luminova means that i have good visibility even in low or no light conditions the unidirectional bezel has got a really good grip so that it can be used with wet hands or even gloved hands and i do use the timing bezels on my watch a lot and it looks good so basically this watch ticks all of my boxes having researched this watch having read about the watch having spoken to people who have had this watch and now having seen the watch i think that once i've strapped it on i won't be taking it off very often at all I'll drop a few links in the description, especially to the Elliott Brown website, so you can go on and find out more about this watch, the company, the other watches they make, and the people that use them. One of the Elliott Brown sayings when you get one of their watches is don't look after it. This isn't a showpiece watch, it's an action watch. It's made to be used, it begs to be used, so I'm going to use it. In about six or seven months from now, I will make another video about this watch, about where it's been, what it's done, I'm saying that as though the watch is going to do stuff on its own about where we've been, what we've done together, the pressures and the tests that have put this watch through in my everyday adventurous life and we'll find out how it's performed. Thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. As always, be good, be brilliant, be awesome. And remember, if I can help you in any way, get in touch. Let's have a conversation and make good stuff happen. See ya.